Hurry! There should be carriages waiting just through the ravine! Crom. Please! <sighs> I'm... I'm coming. Go. Quickly! We're almost... Oh, oh no! Legions, I knew it couldn't be that easy. They're right in our way. We must fight. Ulysses, I offer you mercy. Surrender to me now and live. Hold on. Surrender? Sorry, I'm not familiar with the word. Hmm. Emerian would not have wished for this to come to bloodshed. Damn you! Don't you dare speak her name! Hmm. Your rage is justified, Prince Crumb. But the meaning of your sister's final sacrifice was not lost on me. I suspect many Plegians who heard her final words would say the same. If you lay down your weapons, I vow to protect you as best I can. What? How could we trust you after what your barbarous king has done? I think we shall take our chances with weapons in hand. Hmm. I suspected you would say as much. So be it, Prince Krom. I shall endeavor to grant you a swift and dignified end. Thieves I see scattered about, so they found our battlefield. They comb it for trinkets and spoils, then scurry away like mice. Pah! We shall bring them justice later. First, the Ulysseans! Forgive me, sir, but I... I no longer see the justice in hunting these people down. I accept any punishment you see fit, but after all that's happened, I just can't. How dare you question the General's orders! You know full well the punishment for insubordination is death! But, sir, these people are... These questions are not ours to ponder, lad. The soldier does not judge. The soldier delivers judgment. Sir, I... I cannot raise my lance against them, even if, even if it means death. You, you were there when Emurin spoke, weren't you? 
So be it. Those of you unwilling to fight are dismissed. But I don't wish to abandon you, sir. I cannot defy the King Lad. I know him well. You would murder my wife and child to set an example. I will accept the blame for your actions today. Now go! Wait, General! I see a cause worth fighting for. One I believe in. A loyalty to my general. That's a good laugh. Call in the reinforcements, draw them close, then strike! I am General Mustafa of Plesia. If you wish to keep your lives, then you must win them!
done, Ulysses. Please, spare my men. Khan Basilo! Yes? Olivia! I'm sorry we kept you waiting. When I didn't hear from you, I thought I assumed the worst. Hey, Grom, Robin, meet Olivia. She'll be smuggling us out of here. <laughs> Only if you hurry, doubtless more of the Mad King's men are on their way. All right. Pile on, you lot, and bid farewell to this Plesian prison. All right. You ready? Hold on tight. Your sacrifice wasn't in vain. All of that, for nothing. M. Oh, M. I should have died before allowing the Exalt to be captured. I have failed as a knight. So what now, Oaf? Hold on. Don't look at me. I'm not in charge. It's the fine time to regain the full throne. I'm so sorry. Krom, my plan just wasn't enough. You did your best, Robin. You have my thanks. It's my own failures that haunt me now. God! I was just so powerless! <gasps> it's not your fault either, Krom. She did it for me, Robin! <laughs> So that I wouldn't have to live the guilt of either choice. She chose for me. She sacrificed herself rather than give up what could one day save her people. Krom. Hey. Listen to me. Look at me. All right. I was powerless once too, remember? And yes, alone. I don't think either one of us is half the other person your sister was. But together, maybe we can be something more. If you fall, I'll be there to pull you back up. When you fight for your sister's ideals, I'll be by your side. You don't have to become your sister, you know. You could still be true to yourself. You just have to give people hope in whatever way you can. Still. And what if I can't? What if I'm not worthy of her ideals? Robin, what if I drag you down with me? Yeah. If you aren't worthy, you'll keep at it until you are. And if we both fall down, well, that's what friends are for, isn't it? Hang in there. That's right. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. Just don't fail. You gave me your trust. And now you have mine. For the time being. Don't falter. Were you unworthy, I would have left long ago. What a pair we make. It took great courage and charisma to unite all of us. I knew I possessed such talents, but clearly you do as well. Right. Yeah, we all look up to you. You're like a hero to us. Thank you, everyone. Your words mean more than you could know. My shepherds, my warriors, there is work to be done. Grangle must be stopped so that peace can once again reign on Ulysses. Will you help me? You can count me in. I'm tired of crying all the time. It's time to start punching stuff. You can do it. Here, here, darling. Our people have suffered enough. Need a hand? Gladly would I fight and die for House Ulysses. Gladly would I fight and kill those dastards for House Ulysses. May the gods bless us. Our hearts echo yours, sire. Stand tall. I will be the unbreakable shield by your side. Don't forget me. I'm with you too. You know, just in case anyone. Hello. Thank me later. Teach us here in classes in session. How much you pay, Gregor? 
<laughs> Gregor, make a joke. Why you look at Gregor like that? Allow me. Your sister earned my respect. The last Togwell shall champion her. <sighs> you have grown strong, my lord. I may have set a poor example as a knight, but I swear to you, I shall die before any more exalted blood is spilt. Thank you. All of you, truly. You honor me with your fealty. I will not falter again. We shall answer this outrage. The Mad King must be stopped. <laughs> right. It's time for old Grangle to get a dose of his own vulnerary. The whole of the Feroxy army is yours to send crashing against him. Oh, great. Ah, oh, you young folk. Your passions run so hot. If I had any gray hairs, you would have signed them right off. In other words, count me in. I'd like to go too, if I may. The Exile did me a kindness once. Really? She did? Yes, sire. It would honor me to have a part in giving her justice. Although, all I can do is dance. And I'm not so skilled at that, if we're being honest. <laughs> She's too modest! Olivia's a Feroxy treasure! You owe me a finer dancer in all the realms. Her moves inspire soldiers to work twice as hard. You do well to bring her along, Commander. What? Commander? What happened to Boy? You've earned your way up from that name, I think. Now where were we? Oh yes! I was just about to start cracking skulls! Flavia will lead me and the other Feroxy in a head-on assault. That should buy enough time to take down Grangle. Hear that, boy? You get the fun part! Still... I thought you weren't going to call me. Right. You and Robin have my every confidence. You are a born leader, and she has a knack for guiding troops to victory. You both have some growing to do yet, but I can already see you'll grow tall. <laughs> Thanks, Basilo. <laughs> Alright, enough talk! It's time to raise some heck! Yes. Hmm. Let's get to it then. Grangle may try to hot hit us while we're still sticking in our wounds. Right. Let him try. This time I'm ready to dethrone the Mad King, once and for all. 